I'm going to introduce you to the Nordic Ed Marineverse virtual reality docking uh, practice program. And you're going to be absolutely blown away. What we've really done is just made an amazing job of the physics, how a boat reacts on the water. So when you put this on, you are going to be on a boat and on the water and you're in command. And so here's what we've done is we've put it together exactly the same as the Nautiget online maneuvering under power course. And in that course, we teach you all the theory, we give you lots of animations, we describe everything that's going on. So you do that course first. And then during that course, we say, okay, now get out on the water. And so getting out on the water really means getting on the water on a real boat on real water or getting on virtual water um, on a virtual boat. So um, look at the course here. Uh, I'm just going to go through the curriculum and we'll give you a few examples. So we talk about momentum. Uh, we talk about turning the boat. We talk about prop walk. Um, let's just jump right in here. This is a fun one. Uh, experiencing prop walk. Let's, let's actually just experience it and jump right on the boat. So here we are. Whoa. We're on a boat, here's the wheel. Um, I can turn the wheel, um, here's the throttle. Uh, right next to me is a buoy. And so we put that there just so you can see what's happening to the boat. And in every exercise, we have a board here that tells you what to do and then what you learned. Um, and so for this exercise, we're just gonna experience prop walk. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put the boat in reverse and do nothing else. And here we are. You can see prop walk actually happening and turning the boat, um, the stern of the boat, once you engage prop walk. So um, that's just experiencing prop walk. Um, let's go back. And we'll back out of that. Um, so we get you doing all kinds of things in a really good uh, manner of learning and becoming competent and confident. If you're not confident maneuvering your boat, this is the absolute best way and safest way to do it. We have you spinning in uh, 360. We show you how to um, get rid of prop walk or, or deal with it. Um, and let's go into some other modules here, prop walk, uh, reverse, um, using uh, spring load. This is a fun one, reverse. So what we do is we set it up. So look, donuts in reverse. Um, start with the stern to wind, doing figure eights, um, propeller thrust, um, reverse into a slip from downwind. This is a kind of a fun one. Um, I want to show you how we've got it set up. So again, once you do it in virtual reality, you can actually go do exactly the same thing um, in um, virtual uh, in on the water so take a look behind us and we've just got a buoy there but we've put an imaginary little slip in there and we've done it on purpose so that you can actually do this exercise and we want you to you know just back the boat right into there but as you just learned if I stick this in reverse right now um, we're going to end up sort of heading up over there so this is just again just practice if that slip was right there how would you do that in real? And so learning it all in virtual reality um, helps you really uh, dial all that in. Okay. Um, let's go through some others just real quick. Um, using spring lines, um, that's a really interesting one. Um, just show you how to use a spring line. Let's say... Um, Let's say uh, springing um, onto the dock with the wind blowing you off the dock. That's technically a little bit tricky if you don't know what you're doing. So let's uh, just go do that one. So here we are. We're in a, it's a very, very, very tight slip. And look at the boat right behind us. We've gotten ourselves to this position. Um, and we'll show you how to do that in other um, programs how to get into a tight little slip um, into this position but we've got um, a dock line on the front let me show you so it's tied on the front here um, to the cleat so we've gotten to this position now we want to just show you how to 
spring on to the dock. And this is incredibly simple. Look, I'm just going to grab the wheel, turn it over there, and just give us a little bit of throttle, and in comes the boat. And notice, look, right up here, the wind is blowing us off the dock. Um, so this is a situation where you might find a little bit of difficulty, but um, right now we're just going to click this onto the dock and, and we're in. Um, one thing I do want you to notice, on here we've got wind. So we can affect the wind speed and we can affect where it comes from. So it's coming from out of the north right now, uh, east. And you notice the boat uh, starting to move around, south, west. And so as you practice, you can start doing all these kinds of things at different wind speeds and directions. Okay, let's go back. And here is probably the most incredible one that's going to save you the most amount of money. All of the stuff above is going to give you a huge amount of confidence. Um, but this docking one is where the money is going to be saved in terms of uh, gel coat um, dings on your boat, gel coat dings on other people's boat, um, hitting pylons, making an embarrassment out of yourself um, if you're not completely competent at uh, maneuvering the boat. So all of these different scenarios of docking uh, we have and here's the most the one that's most intimidating to people in general just because you don't get to practice it a lot I mean you go maybe you go to the Mediterranean once every two years or so um, but you can't practice in a marina um, when you're in the med and there's a 10 million dollar boat <laughs> right next to you that you're going to park to so um, practice it in virtual reality so here's the slime line uh, method and here's the anchoring method so um, let's just do that I just want to show you that so what we're going to be doing is um, here is the slip that we're going to go to just right on the other side of those two boats there there's where we want you to drop the anchor and um, so you'll just maneuver the boat over to there and drop the anchor and you'll just back right up into that slip right there and again you can do it with different uh, wind directions and speeds And then the next one is just, look, it's just a freestyle docking. So this is the marina that we've set up uh, in virtual reality. And so all of the green spots, that's where you're going to be uh, practicing docking into and, and have fun getting into this one. That's really, really, really tight. There's a little fuel dock right there we want you to get into. So um, some pylons down over here. Um, these are the med mooring spots. These are backing into really tight uh, slipways and everything. So um, what I want you to do is just get the understanding that this virtual reality program is reality you're going to be doing all these different types of dockings in real in a real marina in real wind with real boats and you do not want to be banging into other boats um, if you practice in virtual reality you are going to be an expert at all different types all different types of wind wind strength wind directions um, everything so um, i can't stress enough that if you're not practicing all of this in, in virtual reality before you get out on the water, um, well, good luck to you. Um, and, you know, hey, look, maybe you're pretty good already, right? But here's the point, and, and same for me, right? I go to the Mediterranean every year. I know how to do a Mediterranean mooring, but I've only done it once in the last year. So how can I have, how can I have the muscle memory um, to get that boat perfectly into the slip with everybody in all the restaurants watching um, and me trying to, you know, look good or at least not look like an idiot. So um, there you go. So maneuvering under power uh, in virtual reality is an absolute must. Uh, do the Nordic Ed Online course first. Nordic Ed Online, maneuvering under power first. Get all the theory, understand what's going on, how to do it, and then come right in here to virtual reality and do it, practice, 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 practice. 
Um, get the muscle memory dialed in, know exactly what you're doing. Then get on your boat, look like a hero.